Today in the news, a GPU is back from the dead, Noctua is teasing something not brown, and of course, a little more RTX 3060. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Nvidia, sort of. If you're a retro hardware kind of guy, it seems that 3DFX, one of the pioneers of computer graphics, is back from the dead. Once again, kind of. An ambitious vintage hardware lover over at the Russian Mod Labs forum has achieved the seemingly impossible feat of reverse engineering and building a freaking Voodoo 5 6000 graphics card from scratch. For those of you who are too young to remember, I know I am, it was about 20 years ago at this point. The Voodoo 5 6000 was a high-end quad GPU card with 128 megabytes of VRAM. This card was so extravagant at the time that it needed a proprietary external power supply that you plugged into the wall. That's a separate one from the actual computer's power supply. About a thousand engineering sample cards were manufactured, but it was never sold to the public because, well, 3D effects went bankrupt. A lot of those engineering sample cards ended up getting sold online for something like a grand a pop. Surprisingly, the VSA100 chip that 3DFX used for their Voodoo 5 lineup can still be bought in bulk on eBay. And that is what allowed this Russian mad lad to bring it back from the dead. Judging from the pictures, this remake actually looks way better than the original, thanks to the black PCB, the copper cooler, and built-in Molex power connector, so no need for an external power brick. And this isn't a one-off card either. He plans on making a batch of these modern Voodoo 5 6000 cards, so if you're interested, make sure to head on over to Mod Labs forum to keep track of it. I'll put a link in the description down below. Moving on, we got Noctua. A couple of days ago, the company teased a new Redux branded cooler on their Twitter page. Now at first, what I thought this was was just one of their currently available coolers with a Redux fan attached to it. So I went to the company's website to try and find the heatsink, and no luck. It looks like it's a brand new tower cooler with four heat pipes, a slimmer design, and a Redux fan on it. Personally, I'm just waiting for the passive coolers to finally come out. They look like beasts. Next up, we got the free game check. It's been a while, but meh, it's because the free games over the last couple of weeks were, well, pretty weak. Anyways, on the Epic Store right now, you can get an arcade looking game called Absolute Drift, where you can satisfy your top-down drifting hunger, if that's a thing. It looks like a good 10 minutes of fun, but if you want real fun, you can get the game where you can go anywhere, shoot anything, and explode everything, aka Rage 2. And it's free, or at least it will be until this Thursday morning, so go check it out. Just add it to your library, it's free games. Speaking of Thursday, we obviously can't go a day this week without talking about the RTX 3060. It launches in two days, and we finally got a look at one. This one is from MSI, and I like it. It kind of reminds me of the 10 series blower style cards with the geometry. In true 60s series fashion from Nvidia, the card's PCB is even smaller than I thought, and it sports one 8-pin and one 6-pin connector for power, which is odd since it's, well, a 170-watt GPU, and 8-pin would have been enough for even overclocking. 8 plus a 6-pin plus the PCIe slot power totals 300 watts. What kind of overclocking are they expecting us to do here? Oh, and about the RTX 3060, it seems like the six gigabyte version might actually still be a thing. It hadn't been reported on in a while, and we thought that it was probably a typo or a placeholder from the filings, but it appeared again through a filing from GPU manufacturer Pallet. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. Uh, let me know if you noticed that I uh, don't have GPU puke on the laptop anymore. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. Subscribe to the channel, stay frosty my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, I forgot.